There were so many connections, though. Your, your Celtic connections. Martin Neil and Roy Keane played with Celtic. Yeah. Obviously, Aidan McGeady and uh, James McCarthy, although he didn't play that night. But yeah. there, there were so many uh, kind of things raveling in between the, yeah. the, the, the two camps. Yeah, side plots, should we say. But, you know, they won the game. There wasn't much in the game. We had the crossbar late on and we could have sneaked the draw, of course. But, you know, they'd done us on a, a well-worked corner from their point of view. Disappointing from, from our point of view that we switched off or whatever. And... But it's something they worked on, of course, and you know we have to be clued in on, on Saturday as well because I'm sure they'll have a few more set plays up their sleeve. And Is it harder for you to, to stay fit and stay focused as, as the years tick down? I probably have to do a bit more work than, than what I had to do 10 years ago. More stuff in the gym, yoga, stretching, all the different massage, all the different things you have to do. You have to do more of it, I think, as you get older because your body in general stiffens up and you've got to stay on top of that, you know. So I probably have to work harder now than I did 10 years ago, say, but... You know, come game day, come match day, then I, I don't feel any different, to be honest. I feel the same. So, you know, long may that continue. The build up to, to the game against Scotland, uh, you got a, a day, or, day or so off mm. this week. Was it important to mix it up that way? Like, you have the intense training and you have Yeah, a yeah I think I was. Well. Obviously, it's, it's the end of the season for everyone, really, and apart from Robbie, I suppose. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just getting a balance. I think the manager's trying to get the balance right of training, but not doing too much because, you know, we've come off their a long hard season for a lot of the players and a lot of them had a week off, the Premier League lads had a week off before we met up and with the Championship lad maybe two or three weeks off and I had Sunday off, that was one day I got off because we had the cup final of course but yeah. I think breaking it up the training this week I think it was important just to get away from you know the hotel here and a lot of lads went home and different things and you know I just went to Dublin itself and just, just a change of scenery and just to freshen up, come back in Wednesday training again and now we're building up to the game where all, you know, everyone's focused for Saturday of course. The manager has mentioned it. Is, is it a moment for experience? Is it, is it good that you have had so many big occasions under your belt? Not just you, of course, uh, Glenn Whelan, Robbie, and quite a few others. Yeah, yeah. well, I hope so. Uh, team's not picked yet, but I hope so. You know, I've been involved, obviously, for a long number of years and played in some big games in the past. And, and, and as I say, sometimes it's about big players and big games sometimes and who've been there before, perhaps, and, and done it. and. and you know, you just need sometimes a coolness on the pitch. You know, you, you you sometimes see that pass, you see that whatever, you make a save or a defender like John O'Shea gets a great block on or a great header and just, just key moments in games and, and they can turn a game really quickly and, you know, somebody like Robbie Keane can get us that all-important goal or, or whatever. But we've got, some, we've got some good young players in the squad as well and players who can cause them problems and, you know, they're all raring to qualify for a major tournament, of course, and they've not been there before, and I think there's a real good group of players together now. There's a, a real togetherness within the squad as well, so that's that's good. You mentioned the cup final, and of course it's a, a huge thing in any player's life to even make a cup final, and mm. uh, how disappointing was it for you? Having said that, you did manage to get your way back into the team, so yeah. there's a plus and a yeah. minus there. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it was disappointing because it's such a huge build-up to a cup final. You can imagine the, the hype over in Birmingham and... You know, the media coverage of it, it's a massive game, you know, watched by 500 million around the world or something, you know, it's such a huge game and, and, and the big disappointment for, for ourselves is we didn't perform well enough on the day and, and to be fair, Arsenal are a great team, you know, and I said before the game, we, we all have eight or nine out of ten, each, each one of us, to, to have a chance of, you know, getting, getting, mm. getting the win, you know, and, and we weren't, it was too many of us didn't play well enough on the day and, and Arsenal, as I say, they punished us. You can't say that about your own performance, though. You make some amazing saves. Yeah, yeah, I've done all right, but it's just, you know, you're the guy who's got to pick the net, ball in the net four times, you know, and people will still remember that, and I'll remember that as well, you know, and the fourth goal, 3 0 is bad enough, but the fourth goal was the last kick of the game, and it's like, but it's in the history books, it's 4 0, it doesn't look great, you know, and but I had a lot of saves to make in the game as well, and that, that sort of shown how dominant Arsenal were, and, and a disappointing thing for us, had we played against how we played, beat Liverpool in the semi final, we might not have beat Arsenal, but I think we would have given them a lot better game. And, and just for whatever reason, we, did, we didn't perform on the day.